Hi, I'm Bob Coughlin. The idea for Come Weary Saints actually originated with a previous album that Sovereign Grace had recorded called Valley Vision. And the first song on that album was a song called In the Valley, which is basically a prayer asking God to be our strength uh, in the midst of challenges when we don't know what's going on, when we're in the darkness, when we're in the valley. After the album was released, we began to receive emails on that song, more emails than we had ever received on any one song that we've done. And people were saying how God had used that to encourage them during difficult times. Uh, one person wrote how their father had been dying. Another person wrote how their child had died. There were just different circumstances where, where people were being affected. And so then it, a few people said, hey, why don't we do a whole project filled with songs that would encourage people going through difficult times. You know, and at first we thought, well, it, we, we don't want it to be a negative album. But then we thought, wait a minute, every Christian goes through trials. Uh, I mean, our greatest problem has been solved. We're no longer under the wrath of God. We've been forgiven through the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Our sins are forgiven. We're, we're friends of God. We're his children. But we continue to suffer. We continue to, to people continue to die. People continue to, to lose children. People continue to have life-threatening illnesses. And yet, the gospel pervades it all. Uh, it, it reminds me of Romans 8.32. God, if he would not spare his own son, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? It's arguing from the greater to the lesser. If God would send his son to redeem us from our sins, how will he not also be faithful to be our strength and our shelter and our shield and our protector in the midst of difficulties? And so that's, that's where the album came from. Uh, and our prayer is that as people listen to this, whether they're going through a, a life-threatening illness or just, just feeling weary, that they would be reminded that the God we worship, the God we serve, is faithful, he is good, he is wise, he's powerful, he's sovereign, and he's loving.